Like so many Australians, I've been appalled by the rise of Donald Trump and the fear and hatred that's accompanied him. The positions that he has taken, especially towards minorities, are simply scary. And perhaps the worst thing is that it's something that we are now seeing creeping into the major parties in Australia. But last Sunday, the Transgender Day of Remembrance was a day for love to fight back. Like many minority groups, transgender, the transgender community fears a backlash once the reality TV host becomes president. For example, Trump's running mate, Mike Pence, has a worrying history of opposing LGBTIQ rights, including the unsettling promise to resolve the issue of bathrooms for transgender people. And I shudder to think what to, what to resolve actually means. So the transgender community has come together. The Trans Relief Project in the US is crowdfunding to assist trans people in updating their identity documents because of fears it will become a lot harder to do this once Trump is inaugurated on the 20th of January. And the hashtag TransLawHelp has brought lawyers together with transgender people to do the same thing. And the fears that create the need for these movements, sadly, are not unfounded. The everyday discrimination against transgender people, both here and in the US, is enough to have anyone watching their back. Across the world, it's estimated that one transgendered person is murdered every 29 hours. One Australian survey found that 41 per cent of male identifying re respondents and 28 per cent of female <coughs> identifying respondents had experienced physical violence within a same-sex intimate relationship. And when acts of violence and hate towards transgender people are so prevalent, it's not surprising that mental health issues are sky high. Beyond Blue's 2014 report from Blues to Rainbows, which was into the health and well-being of gender diverse and transgender young people, found that almost half the people surveyed had experienced depression and up to 38 per cent had had suicidal thoughts. So Transgender Day of Remembrance is a day to acknowledge and remember those that we have lost, to take stock of where we are and to set out a path for the way forward. The question for Australia is how to tackle transphobia and to make sure that we celebrate diversity, including gender diversity, as a strength of our society. And for me, this is deeply personal. My partner Penny came out as trans almost 20 years ago. She's been very fortunate to have strong support networks, and we are blessed to have celebrated our 30th wedding anniversary earlier this year. But others aren't so lucky. The Greens are committed to making it easier and safer for trans people to thrive with access to the services and health treatments that they require. And one step we can take in this place is to reduce the legal hurdles for trans young people to access the hormone treatment they need. Australia is the only country in the world where trans young people have to go to the family court to get approval for hormones, which can cost up to $30,000 and take several years. And as the parent of one trans young person said in the gathering that we had here in February earlier this year, the court process is slow, but biology is fast. We can also rally around the Safe Schools Coalition. The attacks on this program that has been proven to reduce the discrimination of LGBTIQ young people has been nothing short of a disgrace. I'm very pleased to see that the Salvation Army came out in support of the Safe Schools program last week. And in all of our lives, we can make sure that our family, our friends, our colleagues and even strangers on the street feel welcome and call out bigotry and hatred when we see it. No one deserves to walk down the street and to fear for their lives just because of who they are. This is why Transgender Day of Remembrance is so important and why it's so important to recognise that the hatred that's encouraged by the populist movements of Trump, Marine Le Pen, Nigel Farage and Pauline Hanson must be countered with genuine steps 
to bring our community together to reduce discrimination Order, and to Ross. trump